Good morning. We are we're living in some confusing days these days. It seems like we're kind of going from one one thing to another, and um, don't always quite know how to respond or what we should say or what we should do. And um, one of my favorite verses is standing out to me today that I just wanted to share with you. It's Proverbs three, five through six. It says, "Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths." You know, growing up, I grew up in Union County, North Carolina, Monroe, North Carolina, just outside of Charlotte, and I, I felt like I knew my way pretty pretty good around that county. I had lived in Marshville, I lived in Monroe, I lived in Indian Trail, I lived in Hemby Bridge, I lived in a lot of spots growing up. We, um, we kind of moved from different places and um, lived in different portions of that county, but it wasn't until I got to be 16 years old, got a license, got behind the wheel all by myself and on my own that I found out I didn't really know my way around. Sure, I could get up and down 74, I could drive to Marshville if I wanted to, or I could go to Charlotte if I needed to, but I didn't really know my way out to Unionville or Waxhaw or some of those outliers. And for you from Savannah and other places, this may not mean anything, but for me, it meant everything because these were places I had grown up going to, but I'd never paid attention to the way to get there. First thing I did was head to the gas station and pick up a map of my home county so that I could find my way around and get to where I needed to be. And, and it was awesome because now I suddenly started to look and I'd find my way around. If I had a place I had to go that I'd never been before, if I wanted to go from Wingate to Unionville, I'd look it up and I'd have shortcuts figured out and find my way through. And sure, the first time I was going, I'd probably make some missed turns, but, but the map helped along the way. But growing up too, the cool thing is tech has changed. We went from maps to GPS and now from GPS to smartphones. And the first thing I do when I get in my car is pop my smartphone up on the dash and let it tell me where to go. Even if I'm just heading over to Southside Savannah, I want to know where I'm going. I want to know what's going to be in the way. And I want to know what detours I need on the way, too. You know, these things are cool tools that we've got, but they're just a small picture of, of what, what it is that we've got in the Lord. And I just want to share that with you to encourage you that we may get to places and times where we're not quite sure what we're supposed to do or how we're supposed to respond. I want to encourage you to not get so bogged down in your own understanding in those things. Instead, like it says here in verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart. With everything you've got, fully rely on Him. With everything that's in you, put your faith and dependence completely on Him first. It says, do not lean on your own understanding. It means, you know, sometimes people say faith is a crutch. I'm going to say it's the other way around. I think my own understanding is a crutch that gets in the way of following after Jesus Christ and trusting completely in Him. Trusting in what He's taught me and what He's shown me and what He wants to reveal to me when I first go to Him instead of leaning on what I think or what I know. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He'll make your path straight. It's not just a tip of the hat when we acknowledge the Lord. No, this means in, in all our ways, we're going to seek to know Him. In all our ways, in everything we do, we want to know Him, we want to know who He is, and we want to know what He would do. In all our ways, acknowledge Him, get to know Him, and get to know what it is that He would have for us to do. And it says, He'll make straight your paths. It's not going to mean that every path is going to always be easy. As He smooths the road before us, as He makes the highway clear, there may still be bumps on the road. There may be curves ahead. But what's awesome with a GPS on my phone is when I know the traffic's coming and I can start slowing down ahead. When I know that there's something coming down the road and there's going to be a big road stop coming up on 95 and when I'm making my way back up to North Carolina, it's cool to see that ahead of time and know that I can start slowing down a little bit and get ready to put on the brakes. And the Lord can do that for us too when we trust in Him and lean on Him and follow after Him. He makes our paths, our highways ahead of us straight and smooth. It's not always going to be easy, but He's going to make it clear for us what we should do. It makes it pretty clear here in verses 7 and 8. It says, Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. A big way that He makes our path smooth before us is He, he helps us to follow after Him and He shows us the way we should go. He shows us the way to live for Him. How do we can fear Him and turn away from the evil of this world. And it promises us that He's going to heal our flesh and give refreshment to our bones. Not only will we know the way to go, but he's going to give us everything we need and bring us provision along the way. He's going to heal our flesh and refresh our bones. He's going to take times when we're so bogged down and what we're so confused about. And he's going to give us peace and comfort and calm in the middle of it all. I'm praying for you as you go through the day. And whatever it is that's on your mind, take it first to the Lord. Seek after him. Seek to know him and to know his will through it. Have a good one.